Hey guys, Dr. Ryan Hewitt here. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our body fat scanner, something called an InBody. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about how I interpret the data and how we use that for both of our athlete patients as well as our eight weeks to wellness participants. So here it is right here, our fancy InBody, okay, which actually is a uh, biopenance analysis. So you step on here and grab the handles. Uh, it runs a current through your body and it tells you all about your um, you know, data of all your body composition. Now, right here, I have the printout of my, my most recent in-body scan here. So you can see this is me here. Um, it's got my height and my age. And I'm gonna go through just a few of the categories here and what kind of data I'm able to pull from those. So the first category here, you can see the whole breakdown of my body composition. So from intracellular water, which is all the water that is um, located inside all the cell membranes of my body, extracellular water, which is all of the water essentially outside the cells and in the bone marrow, um, dry lean mass is essentially all of my lean body minus my body fat and my intra extracellular and my total body fat. So you can see a total of 193 pounds. Um, underneath here, it gives me a muscle fat analysis breakdown. So it shows me my total weight. Um, and what it does is it shows you a, a percentage. So ideally, it wants you between 85 and 115 percent of an ideal body weight for someone of similar height and age. You can see I'm a little bit above that. But again, you're going to see, so I, I do exercise a lot. So I carry more muscle mass. And you can see that from the next one here, skeletal, skeletal muscle mass. So I carry well above 110% of you know, a typical guy who's 37 and 5'11". Um, you can see my total body fat is actually below where, you, um, where, an, where a person, you know, a general person would be. So skeletal muscle mass, you ideally want to be between 90 to 110%, uh, as well as body fat, you want to be between 80 to 100%. So um, for males, generally with the body fat, um, should be anywhere between um, 12 to 20 percent for males uh, for females anywhere between 18 to 28 percent okay now down here you can see there's an obesity analysis which is really cool um, first of all there's this number BMI um, which we do use in in general circumstances but you know there are there are flaws to the BMI equation uh, it basically takes your height and weight and there's an equation that tells you essentially where you ideally want to be between 18 and 25 you can see I'm a little above that because I am considered somebody in an athletic population people it doesn't apply to are, th are people like children um, pregnant women athletic populations etc um, you can see my percentage percent body fat here um, down to single digits so you know, again, for males, anywhere between uh, 10 to 20 percent actually is ideally where you want to be. So um, now, if you are below 10 percent, there are two categories of people. One is somebody who um, might be lower percentage body fat, but also low muscle mass. So the relationship between the two is important. Um, and then there's someone else who would be a uh, high you know, I carry a high amount of skeletal muscle mass, low amount of body fat. So ideally, what we want to see is this U shape like that, okay, um, like an inverse U. What we don't want to see is the other direction, right? High body weight, low muscle mass, high body fat. That's ideally what we don't want to see. We want to see more of this U shape like that. Um, down here, you can see this is a segmental lean analysis. It tells me between right and left arm, trunk, right and left leg, if you have any discrepancies between right and left arm, right and left leg. You can see my right arm is a little bigger than my left arm. Same with my right leg and left leg. So I have, you know, some imbalances. They're not extreme, but some things to work on. Um, right here, there's an interesting number. The ratio between extracellular to total body water. So once again, extracellular water would be the water outside your cells. Total body water um, would be all the water inside. Ideally, you want your extracellular water to be about a third um, of your body weight and two-thirds should be intracellular water. So you should fall between this 0.36 to 0.38 or 0.39 sorry. Um, anything above that can indicate a disease state um, that would require further analysis. Okay um, and you can see my body composition history I've been tracking this since March all the way up to most recently here so it gives me a general idea of how I've been um, you know, managing my body composition, etc. This is really cool for anybody that we're working with that is trying to lose weight, gain muscle. Um, 
it, it basically changed their body composition. In the top half here, <clears throat> this is really cool. This is really unique to InBody. It gives you an idea of how much body fat mass and lean muscle, body mass you are gaining or losing. Um, and basically this becomes important for especially people that maybe might see some stalled progress in their weight loss, but they might be gaining lean body mass at, um, and not seeing changes on the scale. That's why it's important that we don't just measure progress on total body weight. We also can an analyze how someone's improving you know, based on their body composition. This one here, the last thing I'll show you guys, visceral fat level. This is a really cool metric. This tells me how many cubic centimeters of fat is located in the midsection or right around your waist, which is the most dangerous place you will, can have body fat. Um, that contributes to things like chronic disease, uh, inflammation, etc. Obviously, you don't want to have that body fat around the waist. Um, you can see 10, anywhere below 10 is ideal. Um, for athletic population, I want to see five or less. Uh, when you get up into the high range here, it becomes you know high risk. So, ideally, with eight weeks to wellness patients, we want to see this you know trending downwards as they improve on our program. So, thanks for watching, uh, and hopefully, this gives you a better understanding of how um, you know our in body station really helps us you know monitor improvements with body composition with our eight weeks to wellness patients, as well as I use this for all my athletes that are looking for body composition changes in order to improve performance, uh, improve recovery, etc. Thanks for watching.